Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another fun-packed uh, adventure in the world of home automation. If you hear a lot of chewing noises, it's a very noisy gerbil in the corner. Uh, so I've been asked by a few people now to do a tutorial on the XBMC Cinema Experience plugin. Uh, one gentleman said, I don't see the point in it, that's the thing I hate the most about the cinema. <laughs> Other people think that it's... Uh, quite nifty I guess to just be able to have that running whilst you go and make your friends popcorn or whatever um, if you have friends which I don't I don't have the space for them um, so first off you will need to uh, install the plugin uh, add-on rather plugins the wrong word um, the add-on is in go to get add-ons uh, xbmc.org add-ons program add-ons and then cinema experience so you hit the install button, uh, that will download from the server and enable it uh, quite quickly. Um, and then if you, what you'll need to do next is to configure the plugin. But before you configure the plugin, uh, just exit out of XBMC and create yourself a folder somewhere on a hard drive where you will um, be able to, to get to it fairly easily, so somewhere you, you can remember. Uh, so I've put a folder in my films uh, folder called XBMC Intro Videos. Um, and you will want to have uh, a slideshow, uh, sorry, a slideshow folder, uh, which you'll put all your slides in. So there's some of the slides you might want. Uh, I've actually got quite a few different ones. I think that's, no, that's not the one I've got at the moment. Uh, I'm using the Pixar one, they're quite amusing. And there's lots of them. So the more of them there are, obviously, the re less repetition there will be. Um, so you want a slides folder to put your slides in uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of this available on Dropbox so you don't have to go searching for them. You can obviously put your own slides in if you want to um, but I downloaded these from a forum uh, and I think they're pretty cool so I'll make all of those available. Um, you want to create yourself a coming attractions slide or you can use mine basically just looks like that. Um, so you can use mine, I will put that up as well. Uh, you want a folder to store temporarily the trailers. Um, this is so that you can watch the uh, trailers before your movie, after your slideshow. So you'll have your slideshow, then you'll have your trailers, and then you'll have your movie, uh, and somewhere in between you'll have a coming attraction slide and, and those sorts of things. So you want a folder full of basically this stuff. Uh, you will also want a THX trailer, I would imagine. Um, I'm not going to play that actually because it's going to um, immediately tell me off, I think, on YouTube for uploading copyrighted material. That would be annoying. Um, but those will be available also in my Dropbox. Um, so they're the exciting explosion THX things to show off your surround sound system. Um, and you may or may not want these things you probably won't want this uh, this is the thingy and I'm not going to play that again because it's going to then try and uh, discredit me it's going to tell me I'm stealing um, and the switch off your mobile phone uh, thingy is, is always good to have as well it gives you that true feeling of being at the cinema so you'll need to configure then the cinema experience add-on to utilize these things in the correct order. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I've just installed Cinema Experience, you'll then need to go to Configure uh, and then configure these tabs as follows. So you'll want uh, Trivia Mode as Slideshow, you get an option there for Movie Quiz Script, I haven't used that, I don't know how good it is, I think it involves a little bit of messing around, uh, more messing around than I'm interested in doing. Uh, or no trivia if you didn't want to have any trivia. If you just want um, trailers on their own, you'd obviously select none. So I'm going to select slideshow. Uh, the duration I only want to be one minute uh, because I don't want it to go on and on and on. Uh, slides folder I've already picked. So the slides folder there you can see is E Films XBMC Intro Videos Slides forward slash Pixar. Uh, I've just closed it like an idiot. Uh, e Films. XBMC intro videos, slides, Pixar. So these are the Pixar slides. So I've just told it, look in that folder for that slideshow. Uh, show each question slide for eight seconds. Uh, 
show each answer slide for four seconds these are obviously just personal taste really show each clue slide for four seconds show each still slide for ten seconds play music during trivia slideshow uh, and then you want to choose music folder and again uh, I've used some free um, lift music that I found online uh, I'll upload that as well and basically that is in my folder here somewhere I think yes I've put it in the slides folder under music uh, so Ben sound thank you very much dude whoever you are you, th this music's great it's very chilled out it's free <laughs> So that'll get old pretty quickly, I imagine. But uh, <laughs> it's it does give you that that sense of um, oh, my mouse is being a pain. It does give you that sense of being at the cinema and listening to annoying f uh, music. So what else have we got? I'm going to stop using the mouse and start using my keyboard because the mouse is a pain. Uh, just volume during slideshow. Music volume 100%. Fade volume after slideshow. Yes. Fade time in seconds two. Select only unwatched slides. Limit triva, trivia by rating of movie. Uh, again, I don't think I'm making use of that. It's switched on for some reason. It works though, so <laughs> perhaps I did that for a reason. I know a lot of you had a, a nightmare with this plugin, and I believe I did as well, if I'm honest. Uh, I think I chose some pretty odd things to make it work. I don't know if it's buggy. I'm not sure what it is, but I've got that selected as switched on. Intro video non. Outro video non. Special videos, uh, so choose single video playlist, set the file uh, to be your THX, your preferred THX file from the, uh, the folder that contains your THX videos. Um, so my favorite, so if you wanted the same one as you saw in my demonstration, is the THX Cavalcade uh, Lossless. So that's the one you want to choose if you want the exploding glass um, feature presentation uh, this is the the where I've put on the switch off your mobile phone video so this makes sure that everything is in order really um, and I've done it in order in the same order that the cinema would have it um, so it's not obvious from these menus in what order these videos are going to play if you want it to be in the order of the cinema you want to put these things in the same way I've put them in uh, feature presentation outro non uh, and then again, these options, I, th I don't know if they were default or whether I selected them because the program was buggy and it wouldn't work properly unless I did. Um, movie countdown video none. Movie trailers, I've chosen two trailers and what this will do is it will it will play trailers from the Apple website. Um, so always cool, it will pick something at random. Um, and what I have it do is I have it download the trailer whilst the trivia slides are playing. This means that you'll get a, uh, a good high def video and there'll be no buffering. It will just play seamlessly. Um, so I've chosen two trailers. You can choose more if you wish. Coming attractions intro. So again, you'll want to choose your coming attractions slide. This is the one that I've created and you can use it if you want to. Uh, and all I've done is I've chosen the folder location, uh, slides, rubbish, nonsense. Uh, coming attractions slide. And then I've chosen the video file that I created there. Um, so that just gives you the coming attraction slide before it starts playing the Apple trailers. Uh, so that's a nice little thing to have. Uh, outro non. So trailer scraper, uh, I found the Apple movie trailers are really great um, and they um, they are high definition, they look brilliant. Uh, and unfortunately they tend to put the actual movie you're going to watch to shame unless you happen to have a really good high quality rip uh, that you legally ripped from your Blu-ray. Um, so Apple Movie Trailers newest uh, trailer play mode set to download if you want it to do what mine is doing which is saving them to a location this means that they will stream seamlessly instead of trying to stream in real time and buffering if you're on a Wi-Fi connection like I am uh, you might get away with not downloading them what you will find is that the, they will build up over time if you use that, this feature a lot and you will have a big folder after a while full of uh, movie trailers and you want to down, uh, delete them now and then you could probably automate that with something like Event Ghost. Um, I haven't bothered, I just delete them uh, whenever I think that I'm running out of space on that hard drive, which is pretty rare. Uh, so set that to download if you want the same option as me. Uh, the download folder you'll need to set again. So I've uh, created a folder in that film section 
on the XBMC intro videos called uh, do, 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 temporary storage for trailers and it's empty right now because I deleted it just before I started creating this video um, so set that preferred trailer quality I wouldn't set it any higher than 720p unless you're captain movie buff and you want you desperately want your 1080p videos uh, obviously you can set it higher than that and I think you can set it lower than that let's see yeah you can set it to standard def 480 720 or 1080 I found 720 uh, means that you get the trailers during your uh, slideshow um, but it's not it's not they're not massive uh, and they're not poor quality 720p really is, is the right quality in my opinion MPAA uh, rating of movie then so this is pretty awesome this means that the trailers can be limited to the rating of the movie you're about to watch by age group so if you're going to watch a 15 movie you can have uh, trailers that are just 15 which is pretty cool uh, you can limit them by genre of movie as well so that's also fairly amazing um, means that you can obviously I don't need to teach you the English language <laughs> uh, MPAA rating limit for trailers self explanatory really um, so obviously, maybe it's not self-explanatory. I believe if you choose this, it will override the above options and it will rate, uh, it will limit the rating for the trailers to whatever it is you choose. Uh, select only unwatched trailers. I haven't got that turned on. Perhaps I should have that turned on. Uh, I don't use this. Um, I don't use Cinema Experience often enough for it to be a problem for me. But if you're finding you're getting the same trailers over and over and again, then I would probably choose that option. Uh, featured presentation, enable queue instructions, number of features, one feature, intermission videos, none, insert audio format video, insert rating video, choose the options the same way I've got them, I have no idea what they do. <laughs> so basically um, I don't know what they do, uh, but if you want it working the same way as me, I chose those things I think I would choose them too if I were you. 3D movie options, enable 3D movie integration. I reckon, probably, that enables 3D movie integration. I don't know what that means. Again, if you have 3D TV, perhaps you're going to get 3D trailers. I don't know. Ah, hello. So, there are a whole bunch of options in here that I have no idea about. Um, someone else can do a tutorial on that. Awesome. Home automation. Um, this is to do with Event Ghost, I think. So you can have things like your lights go down when you start watching the movie. Uh, that's a pretty cool thing. That's something I should probably be giving you a tutorial on, but I haven't used it. Um, I prefer to talk to my PC a lot. It makes me feel happy. Um, I could easily, I think, set that up. Um, let's see what it does. When multiple videos are involved, trigger only once. Trigger at start of the script. So this will send triggers at these periods. So for example, when my coming attraction video comes up, I can have it do something at that point. That might be the one I would use. Um, and I believe that when it kicks off, it will send a little notification out to Event Ghost, I believe. I haven't used it, perhaps I should. Um, if I decide to do this later on and nail it off and I thought it was difficult, then I'll do a tutorial for it. Uh, or if one of you guys just if you let me know if you're struggling with it if you want to use it then give me a shout um, I don't think that's going to be hugely uh, taken up by the community generally because most people aren't that bothered about the automation aspect um, miscellaneous if you're a an avid fan of Vox Commando as I am uh, you might use this method instead so this would send a trigger out to Vox Commando um, I haven't used it again I, I don't feel the need for this personally I'd kind of do it the other way around uh, I trigger this feature with event ghost rather than this thing triggering something in event ghost to happen sorry Vox Commando um, so the idea would be that as you um, as, as the video starts playing it would tell Vox Commando dim the lights or whatever so if you've got Vera home automation Vox Commando can uh, liaise with that directly and you wouldn't need Event Ghost, for example. I don't use Vera, I use a Telstick, and that's heavily reliant on Event Ghost. Uh, so I would be making my life probably more difficult by going through Vox Commando to get to Event Ghost to get to Telstick to switch the lights off. Uh, if you have Vera, that would be a cool thing for you. Use that. 
uh, it would be a whole other tutorial again so I'm not going to do anything more that here. okay job is done basically um, if you want to have uh, have have the ability to say to your computer play the following movie in cinema experience or whatever wording it is I used uh, again give me a shout and I'll show you how to do that I don't think the majority of people will be interested in that aspect of it um, but again if you haven't seen my tutorial it is here uh, and by tutorial I of course mean demonstration if you haven't seen my demonstration it is here uh, check it out um, it's cool by Vox Commando I say it every video it is the coolest software you will ever use using your voice to control your PC is awesome any girls that tell you otherwise aren't worth dating unless they have big boobs uh, that's it and I'll see you next time